Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, it's Friday, so happy weekend to you. As always, we have our Dollar Tree Friday haul. I am so excited. Y'all, I found Easter 2024 for a dollar twenty-five. Everything in this haul is a dollar twenty-five, and it is so good. <laughs> So, as always, I love to start my haul with my most favorite thing. And, y'all, Dollar Tree has new signs this year. Look. Ah, look how cute this Easter sign is. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love the coloring. I love those carrots. These carrots right here would be cute if you wanted to craft with them. Take them off this and add it to something else. This sign is adorable. So it says carrots for the Easter Bunny. I love to decorate with carrots for Easter. Look how pretty, you got the wood beads. So they have this one. Uh, they have this pink one. Look, look at the little rabbits and their little like pom-pom little tails. This one says, you are some bunny special. Huh, that's so cute. <laughs> In the store, I really didn't pay attention to what it said. I just knew that I loved it. But look, that is so cute. That one, and then this one here. I love this one too. Look at that. Look how cute that is. The hunt is on. And you've got those beautiful little Easter eggs. And the little pastel colors. That is so cute. All right, so I got those. This also is brand new. Ha! Look at this carrot or carrots. It says, welcome to our patch. Now, it is that tinsel stuff, but y'all, we're gonna take this apart and we're gonna redo this. <laughs> we're gonna make it a little more like natural kind of farmhouse looking. So I cannot wait to craft with this right here. And yes, y'all, <laughs> be with, um, be patient with me. Crafting videos are coming. I just truly for Valentine's Day this year, I don't know why. I just was not inspired to craft. I had several ideas to craft for Valentine's Day. I just couldn't do it. I don't know, but St. Patrick's Day and Easter, I have all kinds of stuff and I got stuff in this video for um, the materials. So stuff in this video will be used for crafting. Um, and you know, Valentine's Day is next week. So the day, the day after Valentine's Day becomes St. Patrick's Day. And then also, boom, it's gonna be Easter. So we're gonna be doing St. Patrick's Day and Easter together this year because we're so close, you know? Easter's in March this year. But <laughs> right here, so cute, I love it. That. Um, okay, these signs are repeats, but they sell out fast and not all of my stores got them last year. But look, look how cute this is. Look. So y'all, signs that maybe you couldn't find last year in the store or the, even the year before, they're bringing them back and they're good. So, Easter Egg Farms Bunny Treats sewed here. I love the pastel colors. Do you see that? It's so cute. I love that one. This one too because I love carrots. <laughs> Look. Uh, locally grown carrot patch, egg hunt and fresh product open daily. That is adorable. And to kind of go with this, they brought back the big carrots. Oh, these are so good for a $1.25. Look, um, they have like three or four different styles, which in from last year, I got all of them. But this year, I just wanted this, you know? So I didn't feel like I needed to buy all the other ones. I just got three of just this plain orange. I love it. These to me are perfect. You know, you can put them together in a bundle, put some raffia around them, put them down into like a, like a little cute little bucket, like a little pill or something, a basket. I love these. Ooh, I also love these. I'm happy they brought them back. They're carrot picks. We made a couple Easter wreaths um, last year, y'all. I have a St. Patrick's Day playlist and an Easter playlist of crafting and making wreaths. So if you're interested in any of those crafts or wreaths, check out the playlist. But these carrots are wonderful. 
to pop, because it's got the little skewers, little picks on them, to pop into a wreath. Pop them down into like a flower arrangement. So I got two packs of the big. Uh, and then <laughs> they also have a three pack of this size. Let me show you. So you get three. Oh, goodness. All right, so you can either get three of this size or two of this one. See the difference? Yeah. <laughs> there is a big difference. Those. All right. They also brought back, and I'm so happy they did. Look. They're so good. And there's two of them. Two different colors. So you got the pastel, and then the brighter. These are so cute. These are very, like, Hobby Lobby looking, Michaels looking. I love these. And I love the little ears and the tails. And this one right here, the pastel, would be so cute displayed with this. See it? All the pastels together. I love that. If you got, like, a shelf or something you decorate, put this together. So cute. All right, and I love this sun. Now, to me, it seems different than last year. I'm not sure, you let me know. But look. <laughs> How cute is that? I love this one. Hop on in, love that. And then the license plate says every bunny, so hop on in, every bunny. But look, you got the bunny bottom with the carrots. How cute would this be added onto a wreath? Um, prop it up. You could uh, glue some little like Jenga blocks or something to it. Uh, the back of a picture frame, the little kickstand, hot glue it onto here. I love this. And this with some carrots and stuff around it. That's cute. So they have this one. And then the pink one. And this one is Welcome Easter. Look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this one is my favorite though. And these are a great size. You see it? Like, look compared to my head. Like, look how big this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, which one is your favorite? Do you like the carrots or the eggs? Wow. I love it. Okay, this is a repeat. I love this one. It's my favorite. I always put it outside. <laughs> look, the little brown bunny. It's got the white fence. Every bunny welcome. There's also a white version where you got a brown fence and a white bunny. But the little brown bunny is adorable. He is my favorite. And I always put him on the front porch like in a planner or fern actually. Yeah. You usually get a fern like for Easter. And I'll prop it down in there. And it's so cute. But because I have it outside, the weather does affect it. So every year I just get a new one. But look. <laughs> It's so cute. Yes, adorable. Okay, this one last year we made a wreath out of. Look, did you see the video where we made a huge wreath with this? If not, it's in the Easter playlist. I'll link it down below for you. Look at that. I love it. We used this. Some of those big carrot picks we had, beautiful ribbons and flowers and all kinds of stuff. Look, this one is Welcome to Our Carrot Patch. That is adorable. And you can hang it too if you want. Or just get you the little like um, plate, plate holder, pitcher holder, and just prop it up on your counter. So you get the blue truck. Then you also have a pink truck. And this one is Welcome to Cottontail Farms. <laughs> this is so good. Yes, I love them both. All right. Oh, okay, I found some new towels this year. Now, this is microfiber. I just decorate with these. But look how cute. Happy Easter. And look at the cute bunny rabbit. Look at that. He's got a little carrot and like little eggs that he's balancing. This is adorable. And I do, I think this is a brand new style this year. Or brand new print. Get that one. 
And then this one right here is so colorful and fun. <laughs> and of course, it's got the chick. Yo, when I see a chick, I gotta get it. Cause that is too cute. Um, and I love the bright, fun colors. Okay, here is something I have a craft idea for. This right here, look. I love this. This was out last year in my Kentucky stores. They brought it back. I love the rabbit. Uh, the carrot says hippity and then hoppity. So cute. And there is a brown one, more of a wood tone. Look at this. And they both, they all just have the one galvanized deer. They only did one ear. And this says happy Easter. So you got the brown one or the white one. Now you can paint these Mod Podge and whatever you want on them, but I do have a couple different craft ideas using this. All right, <laughs> this is brand new this year. I love this. Look, it's a rug. They did a great job on this. Look, Cottontail Farms open daily. How adorable. Look, cause it's carrots, like they're down in the dirt. <laughs> it's so good. Now y'all, these are cheap as can be. Yes, if you will slide across the room on these. So you have to do like a backing or something on them. Um, Dollar Tree sells the rug backings that you can use or layer it on top of like a Buffalo check rug. But it's adorable. <laughs> but yeah, they are very cheap and very slippery. I think that's it for Easter. <laughs> oh, and if you're in Louisville, all of this stuff right here is either from the Sprinker store or the Westport Road store in Louisville. This Sunday is the big football game. So <laughs> on a little road trip that my husband and I went to, I actually found the football stuff at Dollar Tree. Not one of my Louisville stores that I go to, now I don't go all over Louisville, but my Louisville stores don't have any of this stuff. But I found this stuff in Frankfort, Kentucky. I found the football stuff. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, tomorrow, which is Saturday, I'm gonna have Riley and I, we're gonna decorate. That way, we decorate, and I got a couple like craft things that I'm gonna do around here to like get ready for the big game. But this right here, you get six paper trays. If you're doing nachos or dips or something, <laughs> you can use these. I love these, like that. We also got the football centerpiece. It's like that honeycomb stuff. And it says game time. Uh, how tall is this? 11 and a half inches. We got five piece favor boxes. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna open this up. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, it almost looks like a thing of like french fries. It's a little wonky too. Oh my gosh, how fun is that? Yo, if you've got any kids, birthday parties coming up, um, football banquets, you're watching the big game Sunday. How great, that is so cute. Love that. I got the game time flag banner. And that's what it looks like. Uh, 12, dang, this is 12 feet long. <laughs> I guess I have it like right here in the kitchen. Um, I got the table runner, 14 inches wide, 60 inches long, so five feet long. Look, let's open this up. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> wow. That is so good. I'm telling you. Um, and we're not even having people over. It's just gonna be us four. But yeah, I'm gonna like decorate, you know, like have fun with it. I'm just gonna like decorate. We're gonna make some queso and wings and uh, coleslaw. Just a bunch of like fun different things for the game. And then I also got some yellow napkins because these are going to be like the penalty flags so we're going to use um, yellow napkins i'll put them down into like a little um i usually use like a galvanized little bucket or something 
put it down in there and then like have the food and stuff all around it. So I just like to have fun with things. Um, I also grabbed the uh, Monster Mash Remix Cereal. Look, <laughs> this is, you know, it's Frankenberry, Count Dracula, Boo Berry, and then I don't know who the other ones are. They must be new. But it's artificially, it's berry flavored. Yeah, oh my gosh, when I was a kid, it was a treat to be able to get like Frankenberry or something. So finding this at Dollar Tree, I was so excited. Oh my gosh, okay, I paid a dollar twenty-five for this. I went into Dollar Tree this morning because I had to take Riley to work, so I ran in there. They have signs now. They've changed the prices on some of the food. <laughs> Cereal now is a dollar seventy-five, and certain drinks are a dollar seventy-five. I took a picture because I was kind of shocked, so I'll post it right here so you can see it. But yeah, cereals are now a dollar seventy-five, and like Pepsi products and certain things were a dollar seventy-five. So, Dollar Tree is slowly like raising the prices on a lot of things. Because I recently discovered like glasses and balloons are $1.50. But yeah, I did get this when it was $1.25. Oh, <laughs> because Valentine's Day is next week, I got some beautiful little heart napkins. And I got some of the Valentine's Day plates. You get 18 plates and you get 24 napkins. And heck, even after Valentine's Day, I still like paper plates. <laughs> you know, the kids are like, especially Riley, making a snack or something instead of like dirtying up a bunch of dishes. Just grab a paper plate. So, got some of these. I did, I grabbed, how many of these? I grabbed three because I wasn't sure like exactly what I was going to do. But y'all, it's self-adhesive wall top. Wall? <laughs> wall? Towel. But look, how pretty is this? So I will say, I was inspired. Like, I love Pinterest. I really do. Like, sometimes at night, if I can't sleep, I'll get on Pinterest and just kind of flip through. But I've seen, like, a lot of things on there made with this. Well, very similar to this. I don't know what they use, but when I saw this, I was like, that's that same kind of look. So I grabbed just a few of them. Like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do or how many, but I did grab this. And two, it says it's self-adhesive. Which one I just opened? Yeah. <laughs> uh, ooh, yeah. It's got a sticky back. Okay, kind of like Easter decorating, Easter crafting maybe. I found these in the Crafter Square section. Look, it's a beautiful, cross but it lights up it's got the little pull tab pull that out so we can get this to turn on I swear. <laughs> have you noticed dollar trees like changed the on off switch on some of the things and to me it's they're <laughs> they're harder to use and seem cheap look look at that beautiful that is. Yeah, this little switchy thing is hard. So there's off. And then, yeah, it's switching it on. And there's on. <laughs> okay, anyways, I just thought this was really pretty. You have this cross, and then I also found this one. I just saw the two different styles. I thought these were beautiful. And a few years ago, we made a beautiful Easter wreath using three crosses. Um, that turned out really pretty too. Very easy. It was a very simple, quick wreath. So I'll link that down below for you. <laughs> Y'all, I got even more stuff. <laughs> All right, some of this stuff they've had for years, so I will not spend a lot of time on it. I did grab the five pack of the cauldrons. The pot of gold, if you have some left over for Halloween, it's the exact same thing. <laughs> it's just the little pots of gold. Um, the little pots, y'all, I've got a few different craft ideas using these. So if you're interested or if you can get to your Halloween ones, I do have some ideas for these. 
and it's going to include the foam scatter. It's the gold coins and the shamrocks with their foam. So that way you can like stick like a, a dowel rod or skewer or something through it. That. I love these. I've had these every year and I probably didn't need more, but I love them. It's a six pack of the shamrocks. Just like the hearts for Valentine's Day. They're beautiful. <laughs> and that gl glittery green is perfect. So, once again, crafting, decorating. I got two packs of the gold coins. They used to be in a bag, but now they, it's like this. But you get 30 coins. And two in our game room, we have a little um, setup of like the Goonies. <laughs> so I need some gold coins for our Goonies in the game room. Also, I got a few, and they're stuck together. I got a few of the hats. Two, a few years ago, we made a centerpiece using the hat, the green shamrock, some flowers, everything was from Dollar Tree. Y'all, I have seen on Pinterest other people posting my hat. <laughs> it's crazy. I will be on Pinterest and I will see me or see my craft and people just, like try to cut me out of it. And I'm like, that's me. <laughs> you know, but people will like screenshot something I did and then they put it on their thing. Which, but, so I did grab some of these hats. Ooh, I did, I got a few of the um, tinsel rainbows. So I just grabbed a few of these. I'm not exactly sure how many of these I need, but this may be to decorate a tree. <laughs> I'm debating on decorating a St. Patrick's Day tree in the house. So, those. Speaking of that, I'm looking at our kitchen, Valentine's Day tree. It is so cute. I cannot wait for you to see that. And our game room tree. Okay, my shirt right here that I'm wearing. Imagine a tree of that. <laughs> our game room tree. I wish I would have filmed it. But yesterday, like I was upstairs with Riley. I wasn't feeling too good. So I was just kind of like playing around with it. It turned out so cute. Now, I, I regret not filming it. But, like, I had a horrible headache and I just wasn't in the mood to be like, <laughs> here's what you do. But yeah, so we're going to do a little home tour either Sunday or Monday. If you want to see how we decorate it, and you can probably see, like, a few things kind of back here. I'm not done over this way. But yeah, just a quick little, like, Valentine home tour coming up. All right, I did grab this garland because on this one, you get rainbows and horseshoes. See that? Yeah, it's a cute garland, but you can also take this apart and use these as ornaments on a tree. Look at that. I used these last year as ornaments on the outside trees. Look, I do have a cute little easy craft with these in mind. I love these right here. These are too cute. Look, look at the patterns that you get. See that? How cute are these? How many do you get? <laughs> uh, you get eight. So you get four of this one and four of this one. And then this one, let's open this up. Four of the rainbow and then four of the more like neutral. These, once again, this rainbow looks great on a St. Patrick's Day tree. Ah. Oh, I just grabbed one tabletop decor. I got the horseshoe that says, welcome. And it's got that beautiful green shamrock. And like, what's it? It's tabletop. You can sit this anywhere. So that. Oh, this was brand new this year. The confetti. <laughs> Look. You get rainbows, gold coins, a pot of gold. How cute. Uh, I wonder if this would work on, like I said, I got a few crafting ideas in mind. I don't know if this would work or not, but these are really cute. And like I said, they're new this year. Oh, <laughs> I got some googly.
googly eyes. I don't remember grabbing these. <laughs> Why do I need googly eyes? Yeah. I guess maybe in the store I thought of something. I don't know. But you get 125 googly eyes. Maybe this was just time for Valentine's Day. I don't know. Alright. So I did. I got two of the wood bead garlands. So I got the one with the rainbow and the pot of gold. This one. And then I also got the one. It's got the little leprechaun and it says Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> but this right here, these beads, one, wrap this around any little vase you have. If you decorate your coffee table, just kind of like wrap it around, put a little candle, some flowers or something. But two, you can also craft with these. So that was kind of an idea for one of these was I'll probably use these beads on a craft. All right, I did, I'll be quick. <laughs> I did grab some ribbon. I just got the green, plain green. This one is so cute because it's got rainbows. Look at that, rainbows all over it. This one is the shamrocks. This one, I do want to open this up because it spills out something. All right, this one is Lucky. Do you see that? Yeah. It says Lucky all the way across it. So I thought that was cute. And then this one is adorable. Y'all, I gotta open this up. <laughs> this one is the wagon and it says Loads of Luck. How cute is that? It's got rainbows and shamrocks, a pot of gold. You got a little leprechaun hat. So, this right here, make you a big old bow. Decorate a tree with it, add some little trim. Um, a wreath. <laughs> All right, I also have brand new this year. Y'all, I've seen it in the store. I showed it to you in the store, but we haven't actually looked at it together. This is St. Patrick's Day, the door banner, okay? So we're gonna open this up. All right, let's see what this looks like. Okay, you ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> All right, so you've got the rainbow. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, let's see, loads of luck. Kiss me, and then down here, you've got the two cute little gnomes. Look at the little orange beards. That is too cute. All right, that one. And then I wanna see this one. All right, let's, let's step back and open this one. Can you see that? gosh okay right now on our utility door I've got a Valentine's Day wreath that we made together but when I take it down I can hang this on it you know just a little loop little door hanger so you got happy St. Patrick's and then look his hat says day that is so cute oh my gosh I love all the gold coins and the gold horseshoes on it and what you can do is, and we can do it together if you need a little help or some inspiration. Yeah, and we can make like a big pretty bow to go with this and like hang it on like your front door or like a pantry door, a bedroom door, whatever you want to decorate. <laughs> All right, I got one more bag. <laughs> this will also be quick. Uh, cotton swabs, always wear cotton swabs. Um, Q-tips at Dollar Tree, you get 300. Get that. And I always get our freezer, like our storage bags. You get 16. It's one gallon size. I use this for all kinds of stuff around here. So, got that. Oh. <laughs> Bailey's favorite treats. This is her morning treat. The girl every morning runs to the laundry room door because that's where I keep them because she wants her morning treat. And then <laughs> I got some gum. My anxiety. 
like when I'm out somewhere or going to a family's house, anything with anxiety, I have to have gum. I chew gum. That is like my stress reliever, my anxiety. <laughs> so I get Trident, and this is Mint Bliss. It's really good. And that's it. <laughs> I have a couple things in here, but they're for Riley, and I want him to open them, and he's not here. So we'll save that for next time when he is here. Oh, I did get... This is not what I wanted. It may work, but you get six little wooden crosses. This is like where they keep the stickers and everything. I wanted just the wood ones. These are like glittery. But you know what? I wonder if the back of them is plain. Cause I don't want glitter. <laughs> For what I have in my mind, I don't want glitter. Okay, good, the back is plain. Yeah, see the front? It's like a gold glitter. Which it may work, but the back is plain. See that? Yes, and there's like, each one has three different styles. See, there's three different styles. And then this one also has three different ones. And both packages are different. That's why I grabbed, that's why I grabbed them. All right, that is it, y'all. Um, Crafting videos are coming back. I just, like I said, Valentine's Day, I had ideas. I just wasn't inspired to craft. And I'm not like the crafting channels where that's all they do. When I make something, it's because I want it for our home. It's something I want to share with you and something I want to decorate with. But I do have a lot of ideas for St. Patrick's Day and for Easter. <laughs> I love Easter. So I do have a lot of fun things. Um, religious and also just cute like carrots and rabbits and chicks. There's gonna be a bunch of chick stuff. If you are interested in any of that stuff, make sure that you are subscribed, click all so you're notified for everything we do around here. And we will have a quick Valentine's Day home tour either Sunday or Monday. Um, probably Monday. Sunday or Monday. <laughs> It'll be before Valentine's Day. But all right, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Relax and take care of yourselves, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.